Hey, welcome back. It has been 12 days since we started this mead, and now it is time to rack this baby. I have a big old bucket. <laughs> I'm basically gonna rack into my bucket and then clean this out and rack it back into here. That is the plan. And I have flies again, so I'm sorry. You're going to see the monsters. They love my lights. Don't know, they're just back again. They were gone and now they're not, unfortunately. Now I do have a nut bag as well that I'm going to use. So I wanna try to not have as much mushy, mushiness <laughs> um, come over here. Try to cut down on the lease a little bit. So I've just got my bag on this end. Oh, I didn't, well, it does have these little twisty ties on here. I guess I'll just use these to tie a knot. All right, I guess I'll just put it over here. All right, well that took forever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this upstairs. I'm gonna take all this upstairs. I wanna bring the mead with me because I don't want the stupid flies to like, they just complicate everything. Well, make it quick. Oh shoot, I do need my racking cane because I gotta put this, so close. <sighs> yeah. Got him. Oh, blast that's over. Uh, all righty then. Woo, all right, so as you can see, it's a little bit under three gallons now. That is fine. I need to take a gravity reading. That's the next thing I'm gonna do, and then done. Today is the 9th of September, September 9th. All right, let's see where this thing is at, shall we? It's got a little bit more fermenting to go. It is at 1.004. I think. And that is it. I'm just gonna let it sit here. All right, stay tuned. We're back sweetening next. Transition time. Hello everyone, we're back. I was recommended, again, I don't remember who told me about this. It might've been John. Tears of Kaios. This is like a mastic resin from Greece, and it is supposed to imitate the flavor that you would get from a resonated barrel. Um, so sort of a piney flavor. I don't know how much of this to put in. This is 25 grams. This thing was like $13. I didn't realize it was so little. <laughs> I'm very curious to know how strong it is. Apparently you can just chew on this stuff. Ooh, oh my God, that smells good. Okay, that is a very piney smell. I tried to find online anything as far as adding this uh, to mead or, all I found was like a cocktail recipe. Okay, it's very subtle. It is very subtle, but it does have a piney taste. I don't want this to taste necessarily like pine. However, I would like to imitate that kind of flavor. It's like chewing a piece of gum. So I figured to start off, I'll probably add like a fourth of this bag. Oh my God, I like spit. This whole bag is 25 grams. I'm just gonna add some, much to the annoyance of many of you, I'm sure. I have a scale, but I didn't feel like using it. <laughs> Winging it. I mean, even if I did measure it, it'd still be fricking winging it. All right, I'm just gonna dump some in, y'all. Was that a quarter of the bag? Probably was, actually. All right, maybe, maybe more like a third. Maybe, maybe more like a third. Sorry, I'm sure it's really annoying them sitting here chewing on a piece of this. <laughs> it's just so interesting. Actually, I do want to make sure it's dry because I want this to be a sparkling mead. So I'm just, I'm gonna test it real quick. While we're here together, let's test this. I feel like I need to get an actual wine thief because this thing does not hold the mead in it very well. I drip a lot out, it adds bubbles. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, it's hitting the bottom. Oh, dang it. 
I need to add more. It's not even floating. You probably can't see it, I'm sorry. I'll move it over in a second. It is quite dry. Yeah, it's like just under one. It can be kind of hard to tell because the water like goes whoop right on the um, measurer, the thingy. Perfect. Oh, that's what we want. Yeah, so really this just needs to clear. I'm so curious. I don't want to taste it though because it's still so young. I am curious though. Maybe I should just try it a little bit. <laughs> what does it like? I want to know. I'm just gonna drink out of this because I didn't bring a glass because I wasn't planning on trying this. It just pops right up. Like what the frick? I am over the summer. Are y'all over it? I'm over it. I do not normally experience this issue. It's just because it's fucking summer still. Even though it's mid-September in Virginia, it's still hot as balls and I'm over it and I'm over my thingies popping out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like really over this hot weather and I swear to God, I don't have this problem normally. Normally they go in, they sit there and they're fine. Oh, oh my God. I wanted to mention something. I am a noodle head. <laughs> Rag and Bone already made this mead. Not only that, but I tried it on this channel. <laughs> my memory is trash, okay? I will just tell you right now. And I think, you know, in my mind, they called it, well, the, the video, they called it a Bavarian mead, but it's this recipe and it came out of the uh, German, you know, the Guten Spice book. I highly recommend that you watch that video because not only is it just really fun, but they also make this in a totally different way. Um, they actually took the translated description of the recipe and built it that way. Whereas um, I basically made a recipe that was already set up after translation. You know what I mean? So I just took someone else's recipe who already translated and kind of tried it out, um, whereas they made their own. And, oh my God, see, it just fell right off. My God, can you stay on? <clears throat> so in their video, it's, it's really fun because they like, you know, they bring their boil like over a fire. Um, they walk the paces because the, um, the direction for time for how long you boil is like how far it takes to walk a certain length. So that's how they figured out like it's about 10 minutes. Um, but what they did with theirs is they made it sweet. So that was the confusing thing in this recipe is like it's sweet, but it's carbonated, which kind of tells you like, okay, so they must have put a ton of honey in it and then drunk it while it was still fermenting um, because how else would it be carbonated? So theirs is very sweet, not carbonated, whereas mine is going to be dry, but carbonated. I don't know, I might add erythritol, even though I know clearly that's not historically accurate, but it's supposed to be sweet. So I'm just mystified anyway. Wow, okay. Almost lemony. And I know it's the hops. I can't take apart the sage and the hops necessarily right now. All right, well, that's that. We're gonna let this clear. And the next time I see you, we're gonna be bottling. So I'm gonna end this video here and uh, I'll see you on bottling day. Bye.